Firstly, have you learned anything interesting or surprising since getting out of the house jury last night? Um, I've learned a lot. Um, There's a lot of people. You're known by a lot of people. That living in the house is, is just different because you, you're in, stuck in a house for a while. there for six, three days, and it's crazy because you don't see the outside world. You forget there's an outside there. So you forget there's people. There's you just forget. So like getting out and seeing people and family and fans, it's like whoa. Like and people know who you are. People know you, and I'm like, how do you? Like, I've never met you. It's weird. So I guess I've learned that that. You can't take anything for granted, you know? So why did you vote for Sarah to win the game last night? I voted for Sarah because she played a wicked game. I got to... I didn't really play with her, but I got to know her game while I was in the house. I got to talk to her game-wise more than I did with Godfrey. Um, she made really good points in her speech. She's a really... she's like she's a great... she played a really, really, really good social game. She impressed me and... I just had to go for her. She, her I, I admire her and I admire her game as well. So how disappointed were you to see Ashley walk out in third place last night as the last member of the jury? I was not expecting Ashley walking out. I had my speech prepared for her. I was I knew what to say. And guess what? <laughs> Surprise! I I was really upset. I was heartbroken. I I mean I, I I'm beyond happy and proud of her for making it to final three, but at the same time, I really wanted to see her final two. I, she was my girl since day one. Yeah. It sucked, but... If Ashley did get taken to the final two, how do you think that the jury would have voted? Um, it, it would have depended on uh, who, who she was sitting next to. Um, I think next to Sarah would be would have been really, really close, if not towards Sarah, perhaps. But with Godfrey, I think it would have been a little bit more of an even vote, maybe more, even, even a steel tie, but it would have been more even. But still, I was gonna go for my girl Ashley. No questions asked. <laughs> so I gotta ask, you and Kevin obviously formed an extremely tight bond while in the house. So where did this begin and uh, where do you think this relationship is going to go now that the game is over? Um, honestly, I never thought in a million years I was going to have a show with him and walk into the house. I, of course, I was always really attracted to him. We just, for some reason, started spending a lot of time together. We have very similar um, uh, personality. Personality, <laughs> It's a personality, we're very outgoing, so I mean, we just had, we were goofy and like, you know, I love spending time with him. And then I, in the middle of the house, you really can't trust anyone. So, getting to like being able to trust him 100%, it was huge. I was, I'm blessed that I got to play with somebody else, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, we just got to keep spending a lot of time together. And like, I mean, is it gonna continue on the outside? Of course, I mean. Game is the game and lies and whatever, but that was the game. We're back into real life, feelings were real. Uh, you're with each other 24 7, you know? It, yeah, so yeah, of course. I mean, we're gonna try it out and see what happens. And you also became very close with Ashley while in the house. Do you think that, that friendship will last on the outside as well? Uh, 100%. Uh, Ashley and I will be friends for the rest of our lives. Yes, we're super apart from each other, just like Kevin and I, like Calgary and Nova Scotia. A little fun. <laughs> but honestly, there's relationships that, that can never be broken. Mm -hmm. That Those two are one of them. Like. They're very strong, emotional, like they're, like, she's my girl, she will be my best friend for the rest of my life, like she, she's amazing, we fought together, yes, I don't know how often I'll see her, but I'll be in touch with her for the rest of my life. Awesome. What did you think about all the twists this season? Oh Which one was the craziest? Twist, 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 no, I love you. Um, Big Brother, <laughs> Big Brother would have been the same without twists, um, of course, we only for like what less than 20% of the game like you can't control a thing uh, twists get thrown at you and you're like oh my goodness now what like, who's gonna go home you can never be safe in the house you can't sleep pretty because that doesn't, doesn't it doesn't work that way you always have to fight for your spot in the game it gets to a point the further you get it gets to the point that you must win or else you're gone you're not safe and people can only save you for so long right you can't you have to like work for yourself so I mean, 
good TV, great TV, can't complain, but I mean, it, it changes your game completely. That triple, oh yeah, like, you know, people leave, people, like, people come back, and who, like, what, no, you, you, you can't be back, like, what are you doing here? Like, it's just, it's crazy, it changes the way, like, it changes the game completely. What was your favorite part about the whole experience? My favorite part was obviously playing the game, uh, like just the experience itself, uh, and the relationships we all built. Yeah. And final thoughts on the season as a whole? This season was great. I mean, I'm sure it'll be great once I get to watch it, but living it was the best experience. Um, unbelievable, no words to explain how cool it was. Um, unforgettable.